let's start with these because I already opened these. These are actually really good. Um, I got um, a gummy bear flavor. They're actually pretty high in carbs. If you guys can see that. So, and those are the ingredients. Ingredients are okay, but they obviously could be better. But I just wanted to try these. So I tried this flavor. And I also tried this one. The peach rings. They're pretty good. As you can see, I already finished those. And again, they're high on carbs, but just obviously don't eat a lot at the same time. Ingredients, carbs, peach rings. They're not as good as these ones. I would say these ones are a lot better. But give them a try, guys. They're pretty good. There's actually a lot in the package for me. And it's good because you can split them into different times. And I also got some heavy whipping cream. I got two of those. Then I got some extra virgin olive oil. I couldn't find any MCT oil this week, so I got that. Um, I also got some salsas. I've been eating salsa a lot more than I've been eating like tomato sauce. So I was like, let me just get salsa this week. And those are the macros on there. Where are the... Okay, the ingredients aren't bad, guys. They're okay. So I got two of those, two salsas. And then I got this. I already opened it, as you guys can see. Um, it's maple brown flavored, two carbs per serving. And it's obviously a sauce. It's actually really good, guys. I just baked some chicken wings and I put that on top and it was really good. Those are the ingredients and the macros. And so it's per two tablespoons, which is pretty good. Two carbs per two tablespoons. Then I also got some coffee, instant coffee. Guys, I'm obsessed with this protein. I don't usually have protein um, because I get a, a lot of protein from meat. But this is the one that I get if I do get any protein. All Max Isoflex vanilla flavor. I also got a chocolate flavor. And the ingredients aren't bad, guys. Wait, where are they? <laughs> okay, these are the ingredients. It's actually pretty good. Um, I think there is sucralose in here. Let's see. Or maybe not. Oh, there we go. Sucralose. So, some people stay away from that. I don't really. Those are the macros for it, which aren't bad, like I said, um, per one scoop. Usually, I'll have like half a scoop anyway. And I got some apple cider vinegar. You guys know about apple cider vinegar. Some mustard. Relish. I actually saw this relish and I thought, okay, I'll get some relish. But then when I looked at the ingredients, the ingredients aren't that good, but it says sugar in there. But I think it's a small percent. No, it's not. <laughs> it's four grams of sugar per one tablespoon. But that's okay. I'll just finish it. I don't like to waste food. Um, next time, obviously, I'll check the ingredients. Maybe there's a bit, there's a better 
relish because this one has like kind of additives that I don't like in there so I'll see for next time if there's a better one anyways then I got some cognac noodles guys I really like these I know a lot of people say they do not like them but I think they're pretty good 17 calories per serving, gluten-free, soy-free, high in fiber, source of calcium, and vegan, zero sugar, zero fat. Those are in the ingredients. Oh, you guys can't see that. Purified water, organic cognac flour, organic oat fiber, hydrated lime, and those are the macros. So it says four grams of carbs minus fiber. So it's basically zero. That's what I'm going to say um, per one third of a package. Um, just says drink a lot of water as well because that amount of fiber is a lot, right guys? So I got two packs of those. Two packs of the cognac noodles. And then I found these, kettle and fire chicken broth and kettle and fire beef, beef broth. So those are pretty good for me. That's the ingredients on there. Macros. And they're pretty good for me. Obviously I just use them in soups or to make kind of like a gravy. The beef broth is basically the same. It doesn't have any huge additives in there, which I really love because a lot of beef, beef broths or chicken broth or anything, you find them with sugar. These ones don't contain any sugar in them. Um, I got some eggs. I also got some chocolates. I picked these up. I haven't tried them yet, but they look pretty good. No sugar added uh, with organic stevia, dark chocolate, and the macros on there are pretty good. And this is my favorite part, the ingredients. I've been looking at a lot of dark chocolate and a lot of them contain sugar. So I was happy to see there's no sugar in there. There's erythritol, which is good, and stevia extract. So I really like those. I'm going to give them a try. I bought two of them. I'm not sure I'll eat them like whole. I'll probably make them in like a baking situation. Okay, and I got also some sugar-free chocolate syrup. This was my first time trying it. I actually opened it already. Those are the macros. Oh, you guys can't see that. The ingredients. So it's not too bad. The only thing is I would say it tastes a tiny bit um, sour but it's not something that you would like be disgusted by I think I think it's just like an in initial flavor it tastes a bit sour and then as you keep eating it it's like it's sweeter I don't know it's different um, so it says you can put in a milk alternative drizzle over ice cream and mix into smoothies or shakes so I would still recommend this I think it's good maybe add some stevia drops or erythritol to make it a little less sour but I would say it's pretty good and then I also got some chocolate chips dark chocolate again these ones have no sugar added which like I said I'm finding a lot with sugar added macros ingredients look at that guys organic chocolate liquor that's it trust me a lot of this has sugar in it and I'm hating it so I got three packs of those I got these cookies. I I got two packs of them and I already opened one of them. They're not bad, but they are not the tastiest. 
um i've tried this company before and i've tried the double chocolate and peanut butter double chocolate is the best out of these they're so good um those are the ingredients so the ingredients aren't bad guys look at that and the macros so it's like one gram of carb per cookie that's pretty awesome the cookies are tiny though in there so it comes in a pack of six cookies and they're like mini cookies so i got these on sale i would not buy them if they're not on sale to be honest because those are pretty small cookies but anyways they're they're okay they're not bad i would just would get a different flavor and i'd get it on sale i also got some coconut flakes and these are pretty good guys i haven't opened it but i do like the ingredients in there so far look at that unsulfured coconut guys i've been looking everywhere for this those are the macros oh you barely can see those um i've been looking a lot of places for these coconut flakes and a lot of coconut flakes have like added sugar and stuff i don't know why but anyways i'm gonna try those then i got some keto bombs guys you know i'm always eating these keto bombs <laughs> i already opened the package um but they're pretty good there you go mct oil healthy fats no sugar comes in a dark chocolate peanut butter and dark chocolate fudge brownie um if you guys haven't seen macros for this before i'll show you guys oh that's really hard to see and look at the ingredients pretty clean ingredients i get these at costco i think that's the best price but they also sell them on Amazon if you can't find them on your local Costco. I also got some baking powder. Well, the cocoa. Baking cocoa. I won't show you guys those because those have pretty good macros anyways. And I bought this on Amazon. Um, it's a new package of erythritol. I usually buy a different one, but I have tried this one so far and it's not bad. Obviously it has uh, no sugar. It's a sugar substitute and it's pure in erythritol. So guys try that if you like. 